Well, at the Baltimore Museum of Art, the security guards don't just protect the art, they spend the most time with it. So during their shifts, they have a lot of time to study the pieces, reflect on all the galleries, while devoting hours watching over it, which is exactly why the museum decided to offer them this first-of-its-kind opportunity. It's safe to say these security guards at Baltimore's Museum of Art not only take pride in guarding these pieces, but they get it. What do you say to those that might wonder, what does a security guard know about art? There's more to museum security guards than just dragging your feet around in circles. We're musicians, we're poets, and we're artists. Kellen Johnson paid for college by working as a security guard, graduating this year with a degree in vocal performance. Now singing opera in five languages. Elise Tinsley is a single mom, army veteran, and painter. Her artwork sending a message to the women in her community, including her daughter. My paintings are everything that I want her to be. I want her to be strong. I want her to be pride, prideful. I want her to be confident. Michael Jones has a master's in fine arts. It's one of a kind. Working security early on in art school. He found inspiration as an illustrator. <laughs> and Derek Mangus is a prize-winning writer. Called from memories. He's been a security guard at four different art museums. When we dream, we are in harmony with the irrationality of the depths. Earning a degree from Harvard, one of the benefits of working security there. You had to pay 50 bucks. Of course, but that was just the application fee. Uh, and then I worked Must at... Must be nice. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's one perk of working at, especially a museum that has a, a university attached. But now, all these guards and part-time artists are procuring yet another perk of the job, an unprecedented idea that took them all by surprise. Yeah, I was texting several guard friends, like, wow, is this for real? Are you going to do this? I thought they were kidding me. But the museum wasn't kidding. These guardians were receiving a new gig, curating their very own exhibit. As a security guard, did you ever imagine you'd have curator on your resume? No. I think security guards are really overlooked as just somebody that's there telling people to turn off their flash, telling people to take a step, couple steps back, please don't touch. So be able to add something so lovely to my resume never in a million years. 17 BMA security guards now guest curators, creating their own gallery guarding the art. Each piece of art highlighting their diverse voices. If these paintings had a voice, what kind of songs would they sing? Emotion, feeling. With the chaos, this is organized chaos to me. Verdant parks and fountains that remind us of home. But as an artist, I like that sort of attraction to the magic of it. Rarely heard voices working on the front lines of the museum. Who would expect that the guy sweeping the floor is articulating what's going on in the gallery? Are you a curator? Are you a docent? Like, what exactly is it that you do here? And my answer would always be the same. I would always say, nope. I'm just a guard. From the shadows into the spotlight. So do you find people coming here looking for the security guard, not necessarily the Picasso? It seems that way. Right away, see me, if I, you know, the first or second gallery, and then immediately ask, so are you one of the guards doing guarding the art? And reinforcing that old adage. Art is in the eye of the beholder. It's opened some paths I thought were close. Has totally um, changed our lives in ways that we never, ever, ever would have imagined or expected. Cold from the Whether it's through an eloquently worded piece or whether it's through Kellen's amazing vocals or a sketch. There's something that people can see that they can be inspired by as well. And it doesn't always have to be the big name that's on the wall. It could be the little guy standing in the corner. Appreciating guarding the art while admiring the art of the guard. And you can catch Guarding the Art, that exhibit, at the Baltimore Museum of Art until July 11th. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. And you can meet the guards.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.